Yes, and uh, so let's just go back. Um, when it first started, like, what was your first reaction? I know I'm not going to say how did you know and all that, but what was your first reaction? I was laughing. You were? Yes. You were still laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the yeah. way I'm laughing right now, yeah. I was laughing. I looked at the reports and I was like, oh wow, what is this? Because uh, there was no family history. Uh, mm. kisi ke kone mein, koi aisi baat yeah. thi. So I was reports like a reports and I, I still remember I had to travel that night. Oh. I had a shoot thi. So I had to go to Dubai. Jana tha. Mm. So everybody in the family was freaking out. Hmm. And I was like, uh, abhi specialist ke appointment lene mein do teen din to lagenge. Hmm. Mera do din ka trip hai, mein Dubai ja rahi hoon. <laughs> and my, you know, the, the entire family, they yes. just freaked out. And they were like, tum paagal ho gai ho, tum ah. travel karo gai. And hmm. I was like, it's okay. Uh, I just need to go. Hmm. Shopping karke aati hoon Dubai se. Pata nahi, phir aage jana. Was that something ki aap dina? Was that something aap foreign denial mein chali gai? Nahi, I think denial nahi tha. I, do, I, I seriously don't know because hmm. it's a very strange sort of a reaction and a lot of people they just go into that you know, marne wala mode because jaysi hi aapko na breast cancer ka pata chalta hai ya kisi bhi tarah ki cancer ka to loom ko ye hona shuru ho jata hai ki oh bas ab to maut ka parwana haath mein aagaya but for some odd reason and I'm, I'm very thankful to Allah for that because hmm. I think jo ye sara system hua hai hmm. is mein meri achievement sirf isi wajah se hai because you know Allah ka ek different tarah ka हाथ सर पे था मेरे, so मेरा ये सारे reactions normal नहीं थे and I think वो normal इसलिए नहीं थे क्योंकि मुझे शायद इस जगह के लिए अल्लाह तैयार कर रहा था कि I just need to become motivation for a lot of people, yes, and उस वक्त मुझे realization नहीं थी इस बात की, but I honestly feel sometimes that I'm the chosen one and I'm I feel very blessed on that and I'm very thankful, I am very very thankful to my cancer days because वो नहीं होते so I was not a good human being. I was not a good human being before my bimari. And I think we are trying to make everything in our life. You are talking as a good professional. You are talking about a good relationship. You are talking about a good job. Everything is good. We are not thinking about it. We are thinking about whether we are a good human being or not. So that is something. So you, I think being positive was one thing that kept you focused and kept you going. Exactly. And so, thankfulness came after the treatment and everything hmm. because uh, hum sab, I think one way or another are very thankless in life. Bilkul, mein. Bilkul. Uh, choti -choti hame matter nahi kar hoti hmm. choti -choti pe hum crip kar rahe hote hain. Yeah. Zara si koi glitch aati hai life mein. To hame problems aane shuru ho yeah. And we, we don't realize that life is not a straight line thing. Yes. So yeah. to heartbeat bhi aapki ye jaati hai. Yeah. So yeah. Aapko spikes milte hain, aapko straight lines aati hain. So life is all about that. Yes. So until you ups and downs, how will it happen? So those ups and downs ki realizations and yeah. I think that thankfulness is coming. So what was the thing that if ups and downs are about to take a little bit, then we will take a little bit of the positives also. What was the thing that you were most worried about? This is the thing that I am really worried about. During that process of yours, जब आपकी chemo start हुई तो वो I know सबसे पहले होता है आपके दिमाग में वो movie scene चलने लग जाता है नहीं मेरे दिमाग में ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि पता नहीं क्या होगा और you know वो सब चीजें जो बहुत के साथ होती हैं मैं ये बता रही हूँ मेरी बहुत unusual journey रही है and it's not a usual cancer patient journey बहुत ही stupid बात करूँगी but पूरी cancer treatment में जब मैं अपनी even chemo भी करवाने जाती थी � Oh, I have to wear a cannula in the morning. I'm really scared of needles. And I think in the whole treatment, I was just scared of this. Oh, God. But I never thought about anything. I'm dead, I'm alive, I'm how much pain will happen in my treatment. After the surgery, there will be reactions. Because, you know, when you are undergoing breast, you have surgery. So there's a lot of like acceptability in terms of your new self. And your own discoveries are different in different ways. But it was just like that everything was set and running. I was just worried about cannula. And that's about it. So when your family, you know, you have the two cannula kids. And you have the two cannula kids. You have the two cannula kids. Yeah, mashallah. So when your family got to know, I know that it's a very worrying time. And they probably went through a lot with you. But emotionally also. But what was the thing that the family connected to you? Kept you going. Yeah. They were also like you. Yeah. वो तो वो 
नहीं आई थिंक फैमिली ज्यादा फील करती है यू नो बिकॉज बच्चे बहुत छोटे थे बट एक्चुअली बच्चे फील तो कर रहे थे बिकॉज आई स्टिल रिमेंबर आई आन माई सन ही वॉज वेरी स्मॉल एट दैट टाइम एंड वो मॉन्टेसरी जाता था एंड आई थिंक कहीं कोई डिस्कशन हुई है क्योंकि जाहिर से बात कैंसर का वर्ड चीजें बच्चे सुन रहे होते थे तो एक दिन उसने आके मेरे से पूछा घर पे कि यू नो माई फ्रेंड्स वर सेम के योर मामा विल डाई एंड दैट वॉज अ वेरी वेरी आई थिंक मोमेंट ऑफ वो फॉर मी के मैं अब इसको इस उस पर क्या समझाऊँ दैन आई हैड अ लॉन्ग कॉन्वर्सेशन विद हिम आप उस जोन में जिस तरह बच्चे से एंड आई थिंक इट्स इट्स मोर अबाउट मुझे लगता है कि उस वक्त उसका कॉन्फिडेंस मैंने रीगेन किया सब चीज़ें की बट वो पॉइंट से जहाँ पे आपको कभी कभी रियलाइजेशन होती थी कि ओ अच्छा लाइफ कैन गो इन टू दैट डायरेक्शन एंड वो अनसर्टनिटीज जो हैं वो मुझे बहुत एक आई थिंक अब जहाँ पे मैं एज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग पर्सन बैठी हुई हूँ आई थिंक वो उस वजह से चीज़ें uh, इस तरह से आ गई हैं सो वो है फैमिली का जैसे आई एम वेरी क्लोज टू माई ब्रदर उसके अपने रिएक्शंस थे अम्मी के अपने रिएक्शंस थे हस्बैंड जाहिर से बात एक डिफरेंट तरह से रिएक्ट कर रहा था ऐसा नहीं हो सकता कि आपकी फैमिली पे इम्पैक्ट नहीं आ रहा हो एंड सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट बात फॉर अ कैंसर पेशेंट होती है बिकॉज नॉर्मली हमारे यहाँ अनफॉर्चुनेटली बिकॉज आई डू अ लॉट ऑफ मोटिवेशनल वर्क ऑल्सो आई मीट अ लॉट ऑफ कैंसर पेशेंट्स ना हो हमारे यहाँ बहुत बहुत मसाइल हैं कैंसर पेशेंट्स के लिए आई एम द फॉर्चुनेट वन लेकिन औरतों को ब्रेस्ट कैंसर का पता चलता है नेक्स्ट डे उनके हाथ में डिवोर्स पेपर्स आ जाते हैं औरतों को ब्रेस्ट कैंसर का पता चलता है अभी भी यू नो इट्स अ वेरी स्ट्रेंज थिंग एंड मैं इन चीज़ों पे वर्क करने की कोशिश कर रही हूँ कि आपको आपके कैरेक्टर पे उंगली उठा दी जाती है कि आपको ब्रेस्ट कैंसर हुआ है सो मे बी यू आर इन टू सम यू नो डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज़ सो इन चीज़ों की फेयर्स की वजह से एंड ये मैं रियल लाइफ जोन्स बता रही हूँ औरतें अपने घरों में डिस्क्लोज नहीं करती हैं जिसकी वजह से कैंसर की स्टेजेस बढ़ जाती हैं जिसकी वजह से औरतें मर रही हैं एंड दैट इज़ द रीज़न ये टैबू वाला जो चक्कर है दैट इज़ द रीज़न के मेरे ख्याल से जो नंबर है वो कैंसर पेशेंट्स का बढ़ रहा है ब्रेस्ट कैंसर पेशेंट्स का और 40,000 औरतें हर साल अभी भी पाकिस्तान में मर रही हैं एंड वी आर नंबर वन इन एशिया विच इज़ नॉट गुड थिंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ Uh, I am talking about it yeah. because ये number कम करवाना है number कम करवाना है uh, because औरतें बात ही नहीं करती हैं तो मैं इसलिए हर बात बहुत खुल के कर रही हूँ and uh, I think we need more and more females to come out and start talking about it because uh, ये जो शर्म इस चीज़ से जुड़ी हुई है और uh, जो unacceptabilities हैं hmm. चाहे वो families की हो चाहे वो in-laws की हो चाहे वो husband की हो uh, मतलब हर चीज़ को औरत के character से क्यों जोड़ दिया जाता है यार इट इज़ अ मैटर ऑफ माई लाइफ एंड डेथ मैं अगर ब्रेस्ट की बात करी हूँ तो मेरे बाप भाई को क्यों प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है और लोगों को क्यों ये प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है कि डॉक्टर ब्रेस्ट को चेक करेगा या हाथ लगाएगा तो यू नो ये इलाज ही नहीं होना चाहिए इट इज़ अ मैटर ऑफ माई लाइफ एंड आई हैव ऑल द राइट कि मैं अपनी जिंदगी का मैं केयर कर सकूँ सो यू आपका इफ यू आर माई ब्रदर और माई फादर और वट्स वाई वर्द रिलेशनशिप यू नो और माई हजबेंड You cannot stop me कि मैं अपना इलाज ना करवाऊँ दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट वी नीड टू चेंज एंड दिस इज वट आई एम कॉन्स्टेंटली वर्किंग ऑन नाउ That's good. That's good to hear. And doctor-wise, facility-wise, um, Pakistan, you did all your yeah, yeah. Thing over here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
relationships in the hospital hmm. was concerned. Basma, I'm watching you and I love the vibrant color that you're wearing and I'm loving your hair because it's so shiny and it's not so shiny and it's not so shiny and it's not so shiny. So yes, people do have these myths about chemo and chemo ke baad ho jata. If you could just touch a little bit on that because yeah. women um, generally because uh, this is something this up getting so many people and all that. First of all, the fear is that oh no, what if our hair will go away and all that. So in that regard, what made you strong in that part? Look, uh, again, the thing is that you have to equate things in life. Hmm. My hair will go away or my life will go away. You know, I'm doing my surgery on my breast or I'm doing my life. Yeah. So, you have to take these equations at that time. Whatever you are listening to, 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 I think you have to equate these things. When my treatment started, I had to equate everything. Yes, my hair went away. I had this long hair, which was my treatment started. And I asked my doctor, when did my hair start? Because I had a lot of strong dose of chemo. Because my stage was a lot of strong dose of chemo. Because my stage was a lot of strong dose of chemo. So, they told me that they will go to your hair for 4 days and exactly that happened. I was taking a bath, I was wearing a shampoo, I was wearing a shampoo, I was wearing a shampoo and I was like, oh wow, what happened to you? So, it was a big deal and I am a very particular sort of a person. I say, you don't have to wear your clothes, you don't have to wear your makeup, your hair should be set. And I still remember that when I had surgery, I had to wear my hair for a blow dry for a day in my salon. And everybody was thinking that I'm crazy, I'm going to get cancer in my mind. But I was like, if I'm going to get surgery after the surgery, people will meet me, at least my hair looks good. So, you know, I'm so sensitive to my hair. And still, I'm very sensitive for my hair. But I never thought about it, that my hair is going to go, what will happen? So, when they were going, I came out of the bathroom, and I was like, oh, this is my hair. And I was like, oh, this is my hair. And I was like, oh, this is my hair. And I was like, oh, this is my hair. And I told my husband that I was going. And I was like, oh, this is my hair. And I was like, oh, this is my hair. And I was like, oh, this is my hair. And I was like, oh, this is my hair. And I was like, oh, this is my hair. And she shaved my head and she cried also, I cried also. It's all natural. When you were going to go, I was just looking at myself, oh my God, this is a different zone. And again, I saw you a lot of time in the shisha, I felt comfortable. What made me uncomfortable was the outside society. I didn't do my hair in the beginning of my treatment. I don't do my hair now. So, when I was out, I was going to do chemo, the way people used to look at me, in our society, there is no acceptability in this society. So, I mean, if you look at 100 people, if you look at them, 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 then it will be like an alien. So, obviously, you have a treatment, you feel low, you have a treatment. So, then I started to wear my hair. I started to take my scarf, all the things happened. But honestly, there was no heart in my inside. And I think that this is just a mistake. It was just that I didn't need a scarf at that time. I didn't need a scarf at that time. I didn't need a scarf at that time. And I kept walking like this, so that people would have to accept this thing. So, besides the scarf, because it's a wig or something, that was... Many people have been asked for me. My salon friend is from England. Because you said that the salon gave me a lot of money. He gave me a lot of money. He gave me a lot of money. So, I was in shock one day, but after the chemo, you feel so warm that your heart feels like you can ignore everything. I was like, I can't do that. So, I was saying that these things are so important. So, I was saying that these things are so important. Why these things are so important? My hair is not, I feel good, I feel good, I feel good. I'm like that, man. Accept me the way I am because I'm not going to change my heart, I'm not going to change my soul. I'm the same person. I'm not going to change my heart, I'm not going to change my heart. I'm not going to change my heart, I'm not going to change my heart. So, you are going to distance me from me, or you are going to feel weird, or society is looking at me like this. This is the need to understand. The need to accept me. So, the low time, like literally, what was your lowest time during this time? I think there was a very, very bad patch. There was a reaction of a medicine. A reaction was after the drug. And it was after my, my seventh chemo was after my seventh chemo. And I had seizures in the night. I had very severe seizures in the emergency. I took me to the hospital. And I was unconscious for three days. I think I was gone. I literally went away. So I don't remember these three, those three days of my life. For three days, I don't remember my life. I didn't know that I was in a hospital, I was in a coma, but I know that I was not here. And after that, when I was up, I was in my eyes for three days. 
सो आई सॉ माई सन जम्पिंग अराउंड हेयर एंड देयर एंड वॉज लाइक मामा उठ गए मामा उठ गए वॉज वेरी हैप्पी कि मामा ने आँख खोली है एंड दैट वॉज आई थिंक अ वेरी लाइफ चेंजिंग एंड आई थिंक एज एज अ पर्सन एक जो आपका वो मोमेंट होता है ना तो वो चेंज हुआ था एंड जब मैंने आँख खोली थी आई लुक एट द फैमिली आई लुक एट माई किड्स एंड आई जस्ट थैंक द लाइन आई वॉज आई कला आई वॉज मैं कहीं और थी एंड मैं आई हूँ एंड अब जो मैं आई हूँ सो सो दे रीजन तो मुझे कुछ अब मैं कर दीजिएगा एंड आई थिंक वो दिन है एंड आज का दिन है आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग वेयर अल्लाह इज टेकिंग मी एंड आई एम वेरी वेरी हैप्पी विद दैट या